Hello and welcome to the punch biopsy procedure video. For this procedure you will need a punch biopsy, a suture kit, a drape, a surgical marker, gloves and a sharp spin. For demonstration purposes we will be performing the procedure on pig skin. So let's begin. Prior to starting your procedure you want to make sure that you have completed all of the following. A pre-surgical check a detailed consent process, that you've established your sterile field and used appropriate local anaesthetic. Once these have been completed, then we can start the procedure by outlining the lesion of concern using a surgical marker. Next, remove the punch biopsy from its packaging. Now, using your thumb and index finger of your non-dominant hand, Pull the skin taut, perpendicular to the relaxed skin tension lines as you can see here. Then proceed by placing the punch biopsy on the marked skin, pushing downwards whilst twisting clockwise with the first two fingers of the dominant hand. And then remove the device from the skin. Once you've successfully biopsied the specimen, the next stage is extremely important as the delivery requires careful handling to optimise its diagnostic yield and avoid a crush artefact. To do this, using forceps held in the non-dominant hand, lightly elevate the tissue, then with scissors held in your dominant hand, cut the base. A quick note here, gripping the specimen with excessive force is discouraged. Another technique you can use to safely deliver the specimen is to continue twirling the punch biopsy until the specimen is detached from the underlying tissue but still housed in the punch biopsy. Upturn the punch biopsy, then using a sterile needle, gently coax the specimen out of the punch biopsy cylinder and directly into a specimen jar. Once you've successfully biopsied the specimen and stored it appropriately, then it is time to close up the wound. To do this, using a single interrupted non-absorbable suture as can be seen here. This process can take a little time, so what you are seeing now is a sped up version. Once you've successfully sutured the wound, then apply the appropriate dressing and provide aftercare for the patient. This concludes the punch biopsy procedure. Thank you for watching, and we hope that you enjoy the other educational videos in this series. For more information on all of our educational resources and upcoming courses, please visit our website, stjohnsdermacademy.com. Finally, thank you to our partners who do not have any influence over any of our educational content or delivery. Please visit the partners tab on our website for more details. Thank you and see you again soon.